Welcome to Nonfiction Reviews. Megatrends, by John Naisbitt is a book about the social and economic changes that were happening in the 1980s. The book is divided into 10 chapters, each one focusing on a different megatrend that was shaping the world. Naisbitt argues that these megatrends are not temporary or cyclical, but rather long-term and permanent changes that are transforming the world. He believes that understanding these megatrends is essential for individuals and organizations to succeed in the future. The first megatrend, the information age, is all about the explosion of information and the technology that allows us to process and distribute it. Naisbitt believes that the information age will fundamentally change the way we live and work, and that those who can adapt to this new reality will thrive. The second megatrend, the global economy, is about the increasing interconnectedness of the world's economies. Naisbitt argues that the rise of multinational corporations and the growth of international trade will lead to greater prosperity and economic growth, but also to increased competition and volatility. The third megatrend, the rise of the Pacific Rim, is about the growing economic power of Asia, particularly Japan and the newly industrializing countries of Southeast Asia. Naisbitt believes that this shift in economic power will have significant geopolitical implications and that the West must adapt to this new reality. The fourth megatrend, the decline of the West, is about the erosion of Western economic and political power. Naisbitt argues that the rise of the Pacific Rim, combined with the growing debt and economic malaise in the West, will lead to a decline in Western influence in the world. The fifth megatrend, the transformation of work, is about the changing nature of work and employment. Naisbitt argues that the shift from industrial to knowledge-based work will require individuals to be more flexible and adaptable than ever before. The sixth megatrend, the feminization of society, is about the increasing influence of women in all aspects of society. Naisbitt argues that women will play a crucial role in shaping the future, and that organizations that fail to recognize and adapt to this reality will be left behind. The seventh megatrend, the shift from industrial to service society, is about the changing nature of the economy. Naisbitt argues that the service sector will become increasingly important, and that those who can provide high-quality service will be in high demand. The eighth megatrend, the aging of society, is about the demographic shift towards an older population. Naisbitt argues that this will have significant implications for healthcare, retirement, and social welfare programs. The ninth megatrend, the greening of society, is about the growing awareness of environmental issues and the need to live sustainably. Naisbitt argues that businesses that can find ways to reduce their environmental impact will be more successful in the long run. The tenth and final megatrend, the quest for spiritual meaning, is about the growing search for personal fulfillment and meaning in life. Naisbitt argues that as people become more affluent and secure, they will begin to seek out deeper meaning and purpose in their lives. Naisbitt argues that the shift from an industrial to a post-industrial society is characterized by the growing importance of service industries, which employ more people and contribute more to the economy than manufacturing industries. He notes that service jobs require more education and training, and are generally higher paying than manufacturing jobs. He also suggests that as the service sector grows, it will lead to greater diversity in the workforce, as more women and minorities are able to find employment in these industries. A related trend is the increasing importance of information and knowledge in the economy. Naisbitt argues that we are entering an information age, in which knowledge and information will become the primary sources of value and wealth creation. He suggests that the ability to create, acquire, and apply knowledge will be critical for success in the future, and that those who are able to do so will be the leaders of tomorrow. He notes that this trend is already evident in the growth of high-tech industries such as computing and telecommunications, as well as in the increasing importance of education and training. Another key trend identified by Naisbitt is the rise of a global economy. He suggests that as communication and transportation technologies improve, the world is becoming increasingly interconnected and interdependent. He notes that multinational corporations are now more powerful than many national governments, and that economic decisions made in one part of the world can have far-reaching consequences elsewhere. He also suggests that the rise of a global economy will lead to increased cultural exchange and understanding, as people from different parts of the world become more connected. The book also discusses several other trends, including the growing importance of small businesses and entrepreneurship, the rise of the environmental movement, and the increasing role of women in society. Naisbitt argues that these trends are all interconnected, and that they reflect a fundamental shift in the values and priorities of society. He suggests that these changes will have profound implications for the way we live and work, and that those who are able to adapt and thrive in this new environment will be the ones who succeed in the future. Here are five key takeaways from the book. 1. 
the shift from industrial to information society. Nesbitt argues that we are moving from an industrial society to an information society, where knowledge and information are the driving forces of the economy. He emphasizes the importance of keeping up with the rapid changes in technology and information systems. 2. Decentralization. Nesbitt believes that power is shifting away from centralized authorities, such as governments and corporations, and towards individuals and local communities. He argues that decentralization is necessary for creating more responsive and innovative societies. 3. The rise of the Pacific Rim. Nesbitt predicts that the Pacific Rim countries, such as Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, will become dominant economic powers in the 21st century, with their focus on innovation and quality. 4. The importance of social and environmental concerns. Nesbitt argues that companies must take social and environmental issues seriously if they want to succeed in the future. He predicts that socially and environmentally responsible companies will be the most successful in the information age. 5. The need for lifelong learning. Nesbitt emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and adaptation in the information age. He argues that individuals must be prepared to constantly acquire new skills and knowledge in order to keep up with the rapid pace of change. In conclusion, Megatrends is a thought-provoking and insightful book that offers a comprehensive analysis of the key social, economic, and cultural trends shaping our world today. Nesbitt's ideas are both prescient and timeless, and his predictions about the future have proven remarkably accurate over the years. Whether you are a business leader, policymaker, or simply a concerned citizen, this book is a must-read for anyone who wants to understand the forces driving change in our world and the implications of those changes for our future. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on non-fiction. Let us know in the comments what other non-fiction books you like to see on our channel.